Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stick text to a moving object in DaVinci Resolve. There are many ways you can use this effect. For example, I could move my finger up and down to the right of me here and attach text to the tip of my finger. This effect is incredibly captivating and can enhance the appeal of your videos, making them more engaging and intriguing to the audience. To create this effect, we're going to take advantage of the tracker tool that you'll find in the Fusion page. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, you can access the Fusion page by clicking on the Fusion menu item at the base of the screen. Click on the media endnote so that it's selected and hit shift and spacebar on your keyboard at the same time. In the search field, type tracker and select the tracker option. It should now be connected and sit in between the in and out nodes. In the inspector panel on the right, click on the tracker box icon and put the tracker box over the object that you would like to track. So in this example, I'm gonna put it on the tip of my finger in the inspector panel on the right hand side, I'm going to adjust the pattern width and height so that it just covers my finger. Now I'm going to head up to the adaptive mode and change it from none to best match. For best results, you can change the match tolerance. The higher contrast your object has against the background of the scene, the less you need to worry about this. But for this example, I found it best to reduce the tolerance down so that the tracking is maintained throughout the range of motion. Make sure the red marker is at the far left of the in and out points in the timeline just under the preview window. Now hit the track forward icon and wait for the tracker to do its thing. Hopefully everything goes well and you'll see the tracker box move smoothly with your object. Unfortunately, with this first pass, you can see that at one point the tracker jumped from my pointy finger to the little finger so it's not quite perfect. In order to fix it, I'm going to adjust the match tolerance down a little further and adjust the pattern width and height, increasing the size of the tracker box. Now I'll hit the track forward button again and preview the motion. As you can see during the preview, the tracker box is staying connected to the fingertip throughout the full duration of motion. So we now have the perfect track. Click on the nodes window anywhere in the background and click on the text tool to add the text object. In the inspector panel on the right hand side, type your text. Join the text node to the tracker node by dragging on the small square to the right of the text node directly onto the tracker node. Click on the tracker node, click on operation, then click on match move. Click on the play button and you should see your text move in the same direction as your finger. We haven't quite finished yet. Now we want to line up the text with the tip of our finger. To do that, we can click back on the text node and change the font size, the font style, and then click on the layout tab and change the position, moving the text right up to the tip of my finger. Then I'll click on play to preview once more and you should see the text move along with the fingertip up and down the screen and give the appearance that I'm actually controlling the movement of the text on screen. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified of up and coming video releases. If you have any comments or questions about the content you've seen today, drop those comments in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.